Hello, welcome to Handmade by Julia Quinn. Today I'm coming to you in March 2022 and I'm sharing with you the second in my series featuring the beautiful Waves of Inspiration bundle which includes this great stamp set with its seven beautiful images and the coordinating wave dies. And this is a super fun fold. I actually don't know the name of this fold, but it's got the little pop-out element so that you can pop it up and stand it up and display it at home. And this card features not only this beautiful stamp set and the dies, which will be coming in our new catalogue in May, but it also features some exclusive products that are only available now until stocks last. It ex um, We have some stunning beautiful foil in blues like Knight of Navy, uh, Coastal Cabana and Silver and they're beautiful, absolutely beautiful and some beautiful papers with gorgeous hand painted images and swirls. All right so let's begin. I've got my basic card here which is ordinary card size, standard card size. I'm just going to fold that in half and then burnish the edge there, giving a nice crisp fold. Okay, and then that will be the base of my card and then I've got a small three-quarter inch strip here which is the same length and a little bit extra on the ends to, to create the, uh, the, the bend inside and then another little tiny piece here for this little panel here okay now I will start by adding some strips of paper just to the inside of my front balance band there add that on there and then on this little strip, just to give it extra strength, I'm going to add some tear and tape because I think it's the strongest. And I'll put my tear and tape quite close to my scored edge there. And peel the back off my tape. This was a card we did recently at our team day. Uh, with all of my team members it was super popular okay and then I'll just put my edge of my strips there and there okay and that will hold my card like that and so then when we stand it up it will give it some balance and then I've got my two pieces of paper here which uh, actually coordinate and match that way and I'll pop them to cover up my little strips there so just slide that in and just move that out of the way there give a little bit of border all the way around that one and this one just to cover up that tab there okay and then this little piece here I've got two more pieces now is that the way it matches yep those two pieces there on here one inside that little square one inside this little square okay and again I'll use my tear and tape just on my little tabs there. It gives it lots of strength and will help it stay in place to enable it to, to do the 3D movement. There we go. So this one, these guys fold over and this little bit here needs to line up exactly with the center there. So I've sort of folded it inside out I'm just going to put it just below the edge of my front panel there and then tuck it in there and pop it out that way. Okay, 
So there's my basic card. And even then, just with that beautiful paper, it really makes it come to life. Do you want to know the measurements for my bits and pieces? Uh, check my trusty recipe book. Okay, so my main piece of Pacific Point, the base card, is 10.5 centimetres by 14.5, which is sort of your basic card size. And then this little piece here is five centimetres high. So that's five centimetres, about two and a half inches, I think, off the top of my memory, by 10 centimetres. And then I've scored that in half at five centimetres and then just scored one centimetre off each of the sides to create the tab. And then this long piece here is one inch high by 18 and a half scored at two centimetres off each end, which means it's the same length as the length of my card. Okay, and then the pieces of paper are just half a centimetre smaller for to create the embellishment. All right, now to come to the exciting parts of the card, the, the waves on the front. Now I've got here some of our adhesive sheets and I'm just going to peel the back off one. Peel, I'll just use my take it pick tool to pierce the just pierce the wax paper and then I'll pop this onto the bottom of my foil. Okay. Now I only want adhesive enough for this section here for when I'm putting the wave onto the card. Okay, so there's that one at the bottom of there and then I'll put, do the same thing for my white wave. Just pierce the wax paper and peel that off. Oh, came off the opposite way. And to put that at the bottom of my card. Okay. And then, those bits are for the back of the page. Using my, let me get all my bits and pieces out of the way. Using my two waves, so I've got this one here. And I'll pop that over there and die cut that. And then this one here, same thing, I'll pop that over there. And because they're nice narrow dies, I can use them with the indomitable, great little mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. So just pop that over there, line my die up with the bottom, the edge of my foil where the adhesive sheet is attached. Put my top over and there you go. A little bit thicker with the adhesive sheet on the bottom of your cardstock, so a little bit firmer to get through. Okay, just pop that one to the side, and then the next one. Oops, and I've made this a bit too wide for my mini stamp cut and boss machine, so I'll just pop that on my big one just here just for expediency rather than trying to cut my cardstock because I'm going to use this cardstock again for the rest of my stamping. Okay, pop you out of the way. Be using you again in a little while. Okay. Now, just put you over here. Just pop out all the bits and pieces from this die, all these gorgeous curvy bits and pieces. And use the little tiny holes in the die to pop out the wave. There we go. Doesn't that look extraordinarily beautiful? Now, there's that one done. 
Can you see that? And then my foil piece. Don't need that anymore. Again. And if you're if you've been watching this lovely suite, you'll see some demonstrators. Um, some very creative, crafty people have also made things using the the um, bits that are popped out in all of those gorgeous curves. But I won't be doing anything with them today. Just popping all of them out. There we go. And that makes the central feature of the front of my card. I bring that back here and then I think I'll put the foil on top this time because I love the look of the foil. It's a beautiful colour. That's the Knight of Navy. And once again using my Take Your Pick tool and just piercing it and then taking off the backing of the adhesive and then line this up with the edge of my card here and stick that on. There we are. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then the second one. Peel. The adhesive sheet off. And pop, line that up again with the other wave. And there we have the wave and foam for the front of the card. All right, now for our stamping. I've got an extra piece of adhesive sheet here for when we'll um, stamp out, uh, cut out our birds because they're so much easier with the adhesive sheet. All right. For the back of my card, I have two panels, which are these ones. And I'll stamp my Pelican and You're Totally Awesome using Early Espresso ink. There we go. One. Clean off my stamp. Always cleaning off the stamp. And the Pelican down the side. And while I'm stamping my pelican, I'll also stamp him on this one. There we are. And I'll stamp my happy birthday as well. Now my happy birthday is going to be cut out with this die. So I just need to make sure I leave plenty of room for the lovely edges of the die. So it's always good to, when you're stamping for a coordinating die or punch, to just have it beside you while you're stamping to double check. Okay, while I've got my little pelican here, I'm going to give him some bit of colour, a little bit of light pumpkin pie for his beak and feet. And a tiny bit of pale petal pink just to give him a bit of shadow on his tum tum. There we go. Alright, that's done. Now I'll just trim my cardstock. One of this will go through the mini stamp and cut emboss machine now. Just nicely. All right, we'll cut out these guys. Pop in my cardstock, pelican. And happy birthday. Run that through. 
There we are. And while I've got my mini stamping cutting in, oh, did I tell you it's on special at the moment? Most amazing special, 20% off, absolutely amazing. While I've got this here, I'm just going to add my bit of adhesive sheet to the back of my cardstock. There and cut out some birds to pop on my card. Let's check where it is, just there. I'll run that through as well. Hang on, just come back here, you. There we are. There we go. That's all done now. Put that away. Put that away. Now let's put our card together. I'll pop this one up here for you. Oh, I should have cut out some clouds while I was going. All right. Let's stick our greeting panels onto the back of the card. So this is where you will write, you are so totally awesome, and you send your happy birthday greetings. This card, I think, with its gorgeous colours and beautiful nautical images will work really, really well, I believe, with masculine cards as well. Okay, I'm going to pop my pelicans there, but this time I'm going to use dimensionals on them just to make them stand up a bit more okay and I don't need any on the top of my pelican because she's going to peep over the top pop that down there and then my happy birthday also has dimensionals on it one two three there we are And that will go over here. And then I've got my gorgeous birds. It's, as you can see, I've used most of this die um, set. It's really got so many great images. And again, I'm using my take your pick tool to just pierce the... All right, where will I put this? One over there. My other bird. Because of the lovely whites in my paper and blues, I want to make sure my birds stand out. And last of all, with my scrap of oops. Luckily they're strong. With my scrap of white, I can cut out two more clouds for to complete my card. There we go. Best little machine ever. 20% off, only $83 this month in March, which is rather fabulous. Okay, there's my two clouds. And it comes with your, your, um, your base plate, your two cutting plates, and two separate embossing plates too for the embossing folders that fit into it, which is rather wonderful. Okay, and I think I will also put some dimensionals on the back of my clouds to make them stand out as well. And luckily, we've got the little mini dimensionals to add some lovely detail. And they fit just inside perfectly. Now, where's my card? Over here. So this one over here already has clouds on it. There's my original. Here's my new one today. Pop you there. And 
this one here over behind the pelican. There we go. Happy birthday in a super fun fold. You can stand on the mantelpiece and display your birthday card. I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Bye bye now.